May I starter? I'm John Doyle. I've been the sponsor of this bill for uh, a number of years. And I want to explain to you why I got into sponsoring this bill And when Julie Archer asked me. Uh, some of you may know I'm not running for re-election. I've been in the legislature. This will be my 22nd year consecutive, uh, 22nd year total, 20th consecutive. Uh, every time I run, I like to knock on doors. I just love it. And I spend a good bit of time, I will end up knocking on at least two-thirds of the doors in the district. Uh, it, it's good exercise and it saves you money campaigning. The, I was struck by, particularly in the last month before the election, I'd knock on somebody's door and I'd say, Hi, I'm running for re-election to the House of Delegates. Oh, that's nice. And we'd talk and, and i said, well, are you registered? No. You know, it's like, and I, I want to say, darn, this person ought to be able to register to vote. Uh, so that's what got me into uh, the idea. Uh, for all the substantive reasons that the three speakers have said, I am for this. But there's one other reason I think we need to do it this year. Over the last, over the last two years, a number of states have made it more difficult to register and to vote. They have shortened early voting hours and, and, and some have done away, uh, I think a couple have done away with, uh, with, with early voting. There are moves in other states to, or, uh, uh, and, and I think a couple maybe have done away with same day registration. All, in every single case, the presumption is, and I've seen several news stories about this, even called a couple of reporters myself, the presumption is that the purpose of all this is to keep minorities from voting. Well, guess what? We're in that category. West Virginia is being put in that category because of the bill we passed, which actually shortened early voting. Now, what I've explained to each of these two reporters that I talked with is, yeah, we did that, but guess what else we did? We added a Saturday. And we've got more people voting on that Saturday than we did those previous five weekdays that we had. The national media is not picking this up. Folks, if we decide to pass this bill this year, uh, that image will be completely overturned. We will be seen for what we are, a state that tries everything it can to get more people to vote, not to stop people. I'm sure you all have questions, and you all like to sit over here and answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> Just a firing line? Yeah, <laughs> firing line. <laughs>